world has ended What is there to say When love can't be mended Just call it a day Just Brian, no, senor. Yeah? And he told me you wanted to ride into town. No, no, not in the donkey. And this fine horse I brought you. <laughs> and my little donkey lets no one ride on her but me. Hasta la vista, senor. a real big mistake, Jess. But he was at the bank shooting up the place. He killed the parson. Yeah, he was a killer. But now we won't ever be able to find out if he had any accomplices. The whole trouble is you never stopped to think. I'm sorry. You better leave this town. Yes. I'll be 
I'll teach you to get smart with me. You runt. Get up! Maybe this will help you to remember to watch what you're saying when I'm around. I'm Jack Bradshaw. Don't you forget it. On your feet! No! What made you do it? He was aiming straight at you. You wouldn't have known a thing if I hadn't stopped him. Leave the boy alone. Says who? The one who just saved your life for you. That satisfy you? No. When I owe a man something, I'd like to know who he is. Don't worry, mister. You don't owe me nothing. Forget it. I always pay my debts, stranger, and I'll be paying you back real soon. And I'll teach you some manners, too. Yep. What's it about? Why don't you mind your own business? Ain't you gonna thank me? Jack Bradshaw will come back tomorrow, and he'll take it out on me. If you hadn't put your fat nose into this, I wouldn't have anything to worry about. Well, I'm sorry I butt in. I thought I recognized him. Who, that stranger? No, he's a local fella. Born right here in town. That's Jess Bryan. Jess Bryan? Mm. Man, you don't mean the boy that shot mm. the bank robber, do you? Ooh. Hey, Jess! <laughs> I could have bet my shirt that this town was never going to see you again. <laughs> You'd have loved it, Bob. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded, because I'm glad to have you back with us. Thanks. You're a big boy. But you're the same old Jess. You haven't changed at all. The minute you get here, you begin looking for trouble. You try to pick a fight with Jack Bradshaw. You know who he is? He's a man to be careful of. He works for Ingle. So what'd I do wrong? Bradshaw keeps everybody under his thumb around here. And believe me, he ain't gonna let nobody else help in and his preserve. No, sir. No. I'm not nosy, but... Uh... You wanna know why I'm here? Bill Bragg sent for me. Just what I suspected, but now Bill Bragg's all washed up. I bet that surprises you. You surely don't mean to fight for... for Bragg. You're asking a hard question, Bob. And I've no idea what the answer will be for now. However, in all this time, I've learned how to think things over. And now I've learned to think before I act. But... I haven't made up my mind. It was Bragg that sent for you, you know. What are you trying to tell me? I'll let you think about it. And you can tell me what you think tomorrow. Over a couple of beers. I see Bragg. Mr. Bragg, I take it you mean? All right, mister. He's busy right now. You'd better come back again tomorrow morning. I want to see him now. And I'm not waiting. I told you Mr. Bragg is busy. He mustn't be disturbed. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I told this young man that you're too busy now. Yes. <laughs> so you finally got here. It sure is great to see you. 
I was beginning to think you were going to turn me down. Yes, sir. You're a sight for sore eyes. How are you? Huh? All right, Bragg. Uh, sit down, sit down. Uh, how about a drink? I don't drink. Have a cigar, then. I don't smoke. Still keep fit, eh? Good for you. <laughs> Boy, this town's proud of you. You made a fine name for yourself, Jess. I've always had faith in you. Then why have you got that book over there? Huh? This here? Yeah. That book's got a gun in it. <laughs> There's no use trying to hide anything from you, eh? <laughs> you don't think I ever would have tried to use it, do you? I don't think you'd have had enough time. Yeah, sure. That's quite true. How come you spotted my book, Jess, or did someone tell you about it? You ain't the only one who knows that trick. You are a smart boy. Tell me something, Jess. <laughs> At Dodge City, you were working for the sheriff, weren't you? Yeah. I was his deputy till he was shot. Ah, a deputy, eh? You ever find out who shot him? I did. When I found out he was a dirty murderer. <gasps> you should have knocked first. I'm sensitive to unexpected interruptions. <laughs> well, Dixon didn't mean to bother us. Mr. Bragg, do you want to check the account books? I'm busy right now. I'll do them tomorrow morning, Dixon. Yes, sir. I have to admit you sure are a mighty fast gun. That's why I'm still alive. Hmm. Now tell me why you wanted me here. And make it short. I've had a long trip and I'm tired. Hmm. A heap of things happened since you left, Jess. Some good, some not so good. They discovered water on the Hicks property. And the price of land tripled. I used every cent I could get together to buy land, but I wasn't the only one. With the result that I'm not as rich as I was. A man called Ringold moved in on my territory. Come to the point, Bragg. What's all this got to do with me? Now, just wait a minute, Jess. Within a few months, we're going to have to hold an election for a new sheriff. Why, is Clint Simpson getting too old? Mm hmm that's right. And I'm to take the job and help you out, is that it? What are you talking about, Jess? All I want to see is an honest man in office, not someone working for Ringgold, which is what we'll get if you refuse. I'm sorry, Bragg. You're going to have to find someone else. You're the only one who could beat Ringgold's man. You're pretty sure of yourself. <laughs> no, Jess, it's you I'm sure of. And just to prove it, I'm willing to guarantee an increase in the sheriff's wages of $300 a month. It's a lot of money. This is no joke. If you want, I'll give you an advance right away. Thanks, Bragg. I want to think about it first. You only want an honest man if you can buy Don't be too hard on me, Jess. I need your help. I've reserved a room for you at the hotel. Don't worry about the bill. I'll look after it. Thanks. But I prefer to look after the bill myself. Our best room is ready for you. And warm water for a bath, too. Yeah, real luxury. I was told to give you whatever you want. Here you are, Mr. Bryant. It's all yours. I hope you like it. And your bath is over here. Perfume. That's the perfume bath salts. They come all the way from New York. Hmm. I'm sure you're going to like them. I usually have mine imported from France, but I don't mind roughing it. <laughs> oh, if you need anything, just shout. Uh, my name is Corley. Mm -hmm. Does this hotel belong to Bragg? To the two of us. We're partners. Huh. Good night, Mr. Bryan. I'll take care of it. Good night.
Jess. There's a letter for you, Jess. I'll push it under the door. All right, go ahead. It's kind of you. I think, I think it's urgent, Jess. Uh-huh. killed. What are you looking straight at me for, Sheriff? Why are you kneeling over his body with a gun? I don't shoot in the back, Clint. Well, I was in my room when it happened. I heard the shots. When I got here, all I found was poor Corley, dead. That's enough of that. Shut up. One of you better go get the Undertaker. All right, what happened? Someone made call to call me from outside. At first, they tried to kill me. And then I fired through the door. And here are the shells. I may grace someone. Probably in the arm. What makes you think so? I heard him shout when I fired through the door, but all three of my bullets are on the wall. If a bullet did any more than graze him, we'd have him. How's little Sheila? You'd be surprised. She's almost a woman now. <laughs> she ain't no kid no more. And your wife? Passed on. Three years ago. Sorry. Have you any idea who tried to murder you? How could I? The only one who knew was Corley, and he's dead. I heard tell, Jess, that you almost got in a fight with Bradshaw. Now, he's an ordinary critter, and he's sure to want to get right back at you. Afraid you're mistaken. Uh, it wasn't him, Clint. If he shoots me, he'll do it in public to get his reputation back. Look here. One of the bullets. A 38 long. <laughs> that ain't much progress. I do the best I know how. Like any other small town lawman around here. Uh, Clint, don't be so modest. You know how good you are. You served as sheriff for 15 years. You got a good record. Yeah. Only I don't like looking for a new job at my time of life. You bet everything on the wrong horse, Clint. And Bragg's a loser. You see now? He isn't strong enough to guarantee your election as sheriff. He needs a safer candidate. That's why you came. After 15 years of service, he's using you to boot me out of office. That's right. I don't know if I'll accept. You know, I'm 51 now. I don't have money, a farm, or anything. How'll I manage if they kick me out? We'll talk about it tomorrow, Clint. Now I want to sleep. Hmm? Don't forget what I told you, Jess. Mm -hmm. Night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Jeff. Jess, I hear they've begun to celebrate you coming back to town. Gee, they 
was fireworks in the middle of the night. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. They say it was young Corley that laid a trap. Do they? I owe my life to him. He managed to warn me that someone was pointing a gun at him. He called me by my name without saying Mr. like before. So I suspected that something funny was going on. I'm sorry he got shot. One thing I gotta tell you. Tell me tomorrow. But it's important. Obviously, I'm not exactly pining away after all these years. You're more beautiful than ever. <sighs> Compliments are cheap. You said you'd wait for me. You loved me once. Maybe I did. I was just a stupid little girl in those days. <laughs> not anymore, Jess, not me. You stop loving me? That's right, Jess. It was pretty clear that you'd forgot all about us. So I made myself stop thinking about you. I traveled quite a bit. Paris, London, Rome. Your travels must have been very profitable. I'm not complaining. I've done all right. Do you still have the ring I gave you? Oh, that one. Perhaps it was a lucky charm because all these others followed it. Want to see it? And that little ring must feel out of place in the middle of all that expensive jewelry. What else could I have done? I wanted to live in as much comfort as possible. You had no more money than a stray cat. What could you expect to give me? I would have never offered to any other woman. Marriage. Marriage? <laughs> With a man everyone said would finish up in some barroom brawl full of lead. In those days, you didn't believe in looking after the animals out at the farm because you didn't want calluses just in case they might keep you from aiming straight. You're just like a gunman who's for sale. Anybody who's frightened by bullets can pay you to pull the trigger. Now you listen to me. What you're saying is not true. Yeah? Then why'd Bill Bragg send for you? What do you know about that? Everyone knows Bragg wants to run this town and he needs your help. Cause Ringgold has a lot of men and Bradshaw is his foreman. Huh. It seems to me this Bradshaw frightens everybody. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, then he just better stay away from me. Still, it would be better if he didn't cross paths. Jack can be like a monster. Jack? You know him well. So then that's how it is. Did he give you jewels like all the others? Go away, Jess. Please leave and forget about me. Jess, wait! What are you gonna do? You can be certain. When I kill him, don't think it's cause of jealousy.
Tea, please. Hmm. Jess! Hmm? <laughs> How are you, Jess? I've been wanting to say hello. Don't you remember me? Hmm? <clears throat> oh, you're Rose Bragg. That's right. How are you? I'm fine. Everybody's talking about you. Yep. Say, Rose, did those men out there work for Ringgold? Mm -hmm. They're waiting for someone. They've been there over an hour. They act like they've been invited to a funeral. And it's up to them to provide a body. Ringgold's no killer. And he's better than you think. Um, Ringgold's your, your brother's enemy. Oh. <laughs> you know about everything, don't you? Is it going to take you much longer to audit those accounts? Uh, oh, I'll finish them by tonight, I think. Have you found anything missing? Mm-mm. So far, they're mm, no Good. Order. What's the point of all that? Corley's dead. Oh, nothing would please my brother more than to prove that poor Corley was an embezzler, seeing as he was a friend of mine. Isn't that hey. true, Dixon? <laughs> there you are. I wish I knew what side you're on. Hmm. I'll tell you someday. <laughs> See you, Jess. So long, Rose. Hmm. You ain't changed much. Haven't you got anything better than that to say? You ain't a kid no more. Uh, can you tell? Sure, yep. All too well. In fact, I think you better go. You're the sheriff's daughter. Uh, don't be frightened. I'm here on official business. Today's payday and Pa got to watch the bar. So he sent me over here to keep an eye on you. You better not try to escape me, Jess. <laughs> hey, those are the bullet holes, huh? Yep. Gosh, it looks like a sieve. You must have been awfully frightened, huh? I couldn't afford to be frightened. <laughs> Sheila, you better run along now, huh? I have to watch you. Stop joking, Sheila, and behave. If you want me to think you're grown up. What do I have to do? Well, you can, uh, go home. A man's bedroom is no place for a real lady. You want to get rid of me? I bet you got some woman coming to visit you. No. There's no woman coming here. And what about Fanny? You still in love with her? It's funny. What do you know about that? Huh? The whole thing. You always loved her. <laughs> but Fanny goes with other men. And everybody knows. Right now, Jack Bradshaw's keeping her company. You must have heard that. And there's another man, the man who's been buying her all sorts of presents. The one who gave her all the money to buy those expensive jewels. How do you know all these things? It isn't easy to keep a secret from the people in this town. That's why Bradshaw had it in for Porter yesterday. That stupid fool John Porter went and made fun of him. But why talk about all this? Why not talk about you and me for a change? Oh, I love you so much. Listen, if you don't get out right now, I'm going to throw you out. But I've come here just to be alone with you. Oh, you did, did you? Uh, you're much too young for that. What would you do if a woman said, please kiss me? Would you throw her out? 
No, nope. not a woman. A girl, I would. Shot him in the back. Look here where he was hit. I didn't kill him. He was already dead. They cut his throat. Yes, I was putting the blame on you. We were all pretty fond of Bob Elliott. We just thought that... Sure, sure, I know. I understand. You better tell the sheriff and the undertaker. I was hiding downstairs waiting for you. Then I saw that Mr. Dixon was tied up and a man was crouched behind the counter with a Winchester aiming straight at you. Who was that man behind the counter? Well, I can't be sure. He kept his face hidden. Hey, that's Dixon! Mm. And he's all tied up! Yeah. Well, somebody on Yankee, maybe he can tell us who did it. All right, Dixon. What happened? Someone hit me on the back of the head, but I didn't see him. I must have fainted, I guess, because I don't remember how it happened. Say, I know who that is. Why, well, everybody knows it. It's Bradshaw's. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you. This happens to be a very special right. It's a one of 1,000. It's a very high-priced gun. The company only makes one for every 1,000 ordinary rifles. Well, let's go. There's nothing else to do here. Yes, gentlemen, please go. Bradshaw and Bob didn't hate each other. It's not Bradshaw. I know. But Bradshaw could never have missed me. Especially with this. Now run along, will you, Sheila? Yes, but Jess, there's something I have to tell you. It's not important, really. Some other time. I hope that what just happened has persuaded you to reconsider the offer I made you. You think... If I'm sheriff, nobody'll shoot at me. You'd be free to act, to do the things that Simpson doesn't. I'll think about it. But for now, I'd like you to get Clint to make me deputy sheriff. I don't think Bradshaw's a guilty one, but he has to be questioned. And I want to do it myself. You ain't planning to go out to Ringo's ranch, are you? My dad shoot you dead. Stay here, Jess. No. I gotta go. There. I never thought I'd be making a deputy sheriff out of you. Now about Jack Bradshaw, how are you gonna pick him up? He sure ain't gonna show his face in town. 
Yeah, it wouldn't be very smart to go looking for him out at the ranch. He'd probably shoot you. I'll go anyhow. It'll be a pity for me to lose my deputy the same day he was appointed. Don't worry. Jess! I'm so happy. <laughs> what you so happy for? Because you're working for Paul. You better get on back to the house, Sheila. All right, that's Pa being a stern father. I think he's awful, don't you? I'll see you later. Want to do me a favor? At your service. Go find Joe Porter and bring him here. Don't say I'm here. Say your father wants to talk to him. Yes, sir, deputy. <laughs> you didn't keep staring at that. We know whose it is. It's a gun Bradshaw's proud of. There isn't a better rifle in this your whole county. <laughs> Try another shot. Leave him to me. Watch me make him gallop the whole way back to his Mexican hometown. He's going to get mad. Look out. Yeah, that mule better come down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those three men out there work for Ringgold. They behave this way in front of your office? They're probably doing it all on purpose. Maybe it's a good time to try this. Don't shoot me more, senor. <laughs> I can't hold him if you do. That mule's plumb on out. Yeah, is that too big a load? That's right. Somebody should help him with that load. No. I'm gonna give him a hand. No, no. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, that's why. It was for my family. That water. Hey, please let me go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest. I said I'm arresting you. What for? You're disturbing the peace. Come on, boys. Make your bet. The deputy ain't got the nerve to shoot at unarmed men. It was a good job, Jess. Of course, it had to be done. But you know, sometimes you gotta go easy. Who knows what Ringo's gonna say? Just don't let him out of your sight. Load this. I'll take it with me. What are you running away for? Who are you afraid of? Let go. I'm not afraid of anyone. You're afraid of Bradshaw. Yet you picked an argument. Why? Why don't you mind your own business? I'll tell you then. You were ordered to pick a fight with him. So someone would have the excuse to shoot him. Who was it that told you to do it? Talk! Who paid you? I wasn't paid anything. I don't care why you did it. Who ordered you? Was it your father? If you want to know, why don't you go and ask him? He's home in bed. He's been sick. Eh, what of? <clears throat> I 
I'm going to speak to Bradshaw. Watch yourself, Jess. That man can be pretty tricky. You! Why did you follow me? Because you may run into some trouble. I decided I should come with you. You see, Ringo's men would be afraid to shoot me. That's pretty funny. You expect to hide me behind you? Well, why not? Go home, Sheila. Let me stay with you. No. You go home. But they'll kill you. Maybe. I remember. I'm a deputy. Understand? I have to talk to Bradshaw. I don't think he's guilty. I gotta go alone. See? How did you get out of jail? And where's the other? I'm here, Brian. And don't bother to turn around. Surprise! This time you ain't showing how smart you are with us three drunks. <laughs> I don't like people to shoot you in the back either. No, we're even, Brian. Yet I haven't forgotten my promise to teach you some manners, so look out. All right. Bradshaw. You're Sam Ringold, and you're just Brian. I guess that big badge means you're already working for Bill Bragg. I'm here as a deputy sheriff. This badge makes me a law officer. That means I work for the law. Recognize it? It's a Winchester special. It's a magnificent thing. A few hours ago, someone tried to shoot me with this, then ran away and left it. It belongs to Jack Bradshaw, doesn't it? 
Seems mighty strange that someone would shoot at you with a rifle everybody knows and escape and leave it behind. That's why I came here to question him. What do you got to say, Bradshaw? That's my gun, all right. But I don't know anything about the crime. Somebody must have stolen it to get me in trouble. You must know who could have taken it. I got no idea. You're acting like an idiot, Bradshaw. Everyone says you're responsible. What can you expect? If you refuse to say who you think it is, you're forcing me to arrest you for murder. That rifle was too fancy for me to use. So I gave it as a gift. To Fanny Sam? But she's no murderer and you know it. You better keep her out of this, hear me? Or you'll be sorry. I'm sorry about causing the death of three of your men. Those three men didn't work here. drowning. I'm a very good swimmer. I could save you. I'm not undressing. Why not? I did. Well, I'm not. Put on your clothes. All right, Sheila. Get dressed. I'll wait. Oh, big meanie. I don't know why you're so shy about getting undressed. After all, Adam and Eve were new. Yeah, and don't forget they were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, too. You can turn around now. It's all right, the danger's over. To hear you speak, you seem to be afraid of getting kicked out of the Garden of Eden, too. As long as I have my old pal with me, I don't have to worry. And I'd never leave him for a minute, not even to go swimming with you. Do you mean we really have to go? Mm-hmm. Yep, even if I have to carry him. I hate you. Do you? Yes, I hate you when you're horrible. Now, listen to me, Sheila. I don't want to sound like a preacher, but you should... Oh, Get down, fast! <laughs> Stay over there. Stay away. <laughs> I told you to stay put, didn't I? No, I'm going to show myself. If they want to hit us, they'll have to come out in the open. Then you can shoot them. Yes, but what if they shoot you? That's impossible. Look at my hand. The lifeline is extremely long, which means I'll die of old age when I'm 90. Yes, but hasn't it occurred to you that maybe they don't know that? And your lifeline is exceptional. Same as mine. <laughs> Hey, they're getting away. Let's follow them. Wait. It could be a trap. The same as you wanted to do before. Well, it sure looks like there's no one there. Come on. Go get the horses and wait here.
Sheila, stop! Sheila, stop, I said! But there isn't anyone here. Good thing there wasn't. You might have gotten yourself killed. Did you find something, Jess? Yeah, something, I guess. A couple of shells from a Winchester. The kind everybody uses. Shells like these are very common around here. And you? Mm -mm. Come on, let's go. Sheila, you go ahead. I'll catch up to you. Every time somebody shoots at me, you're around. Brian, you know I'm tired of you and your manner snooping around. Looks like you're trying to pick a fight. All I'm trying to do is mind my own business. I'm going to teach you a lesson. And maybe you won't bother me anymore. the lesson. I guess that's all we have to say to each other for now. So long, friend. Keep those guns locked up. That rifle is evidence. And someone might come to take it. I hear you spoke to Bradshaw. Yeah. He admitted that one in a thousand is his, but said that he didn't use it. Well, that's probably true if he lets you come back alive. Yeah. Those men I arrested tried to kill me. Why did you set them free? Well, just after you left, one of Ringo's men came along and went bail for them. Those three were not Ringold's men. But I thought... You believe everybody. Either you're getting old or you think you're clever. And I'm still not sure which it is. Well, Sheriff... But, Jess, I don't follow you. Ringold? He's far from good. But he respects the law, as does Bradshaw. They don't set up an ambush. Ambush? What happened? I don't want to be a target anymore. I hope you know that. And that goes for everyone. So long, Peter. But I don't understand. Ask Sheila to explain. I got work to do. Oh, wait, Jess. What was he talking about? You'd think he was trying to blame something on me. 
Maybe he was. That Jess. He's always been the suspicious type. Perhaps he's right this time. What's that? Look, your lucky piece. The medal you won in the shooting mm. contest. Ah, I've been looking for that for two days. I'm glad it's finally turned up. Not two days, Father. A couple of hours. And if I hadn't found it, I would never have thought that you were the person who shot at us. I did it frighten Jess. I don't want you going with him. That's a lie. You know it has nothing to do with us, Pop. What's your real reason? I didn't have any other reason. You know I'm a good shot. If I'd aimed carefully, Jess wouldn't be living now. You were afraid you might hit me, too. We were too close together, even for you. But what will you do when Jess finds out that someone in this town paid you to murder a friend of yours? That's enough, Sheila. You have no right to speak in that tone of voice. This is a matter you can't possibly understand. You're much too young. Well, I don't feel young any longer. I feel ancient, and I despise you. What do you want here, Jess? I ask you some questions. Please, not now. It's urgent. Are you trying to make trouble for me? Are you afraid of losing your good name? What do you want to ask me? I don't know anything. Bradshaw told me he gave you his Winchester. There's one in a thousand. Is that right? No. I mean, he didn't give it to me. It's no use to me. He asked me to... Keep it here. Where is it? That's funny. It was right here. It's disappeared. Perhaps you put it somewhere else. But I put it in here with these. They're the cartridges he brought me with the gun. I put everything together. Then... someone else took it. Who? I don't know. Yes, you do. You know everything. You know that whoever took it is the murderer. You're in trouble. You know that, don't you? You're the only one who knows the murderer's identity. You'll be next. You must hide quickly. Who are you expecting? You'll have to hide. He'll kill you if he sees you. Who? I'll try to distract him when he comes in. Please, Jess. What is this, a melodrama? Hmm? You must be joking, Fanny. Believe me, it's no joke. Then you're really frightened. Afraid for him? Oh, please. Fanny. Fanny! Open the door. Fanny! Open up! That took long enough. What were you doing? It's already ten. I didn't think you were coming anymore. I'm... I'm glad you came. What's wrong, Jack? What are you looking for? Who did you give my rifle to? Uh, to no one. Then who took it? Why, I don't know, Jack. Come on, tell me, who took it? Honest, oh! Talk! Uh, uh, who did you give it to? Who was it? Tell me or I'll murder you. Please, I don't know anything, Jack. That's the truth. You must believe me. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm all yours, Jack. You must believe that. And your friend Jess, he came back for you. But that affair with Jess was nothing. It couldn't last. I can't remember it any longer. I wish he'd clear out now. And the sooner the better. Oh, don't think about it anymore, darling. 
I've been waiting for Jess Bryan. Have you seen him? No, sir. He's been out all day. But I reckon he should be back before much longer, if you care to wait. I may as well. Whatever you like, Mr. Ringold. But you'll have to excuse me. i got to get on with my accounts. There's all the hotel business to attend to, apart from my regular work. anxious to prove that the man who tried to shoot Brian couldn't have been Jack Bradshaw. Could you swear to that? <laughs> but how? I was knocked out by someone. <laughs> Besides, the gun he left behind, that was Bradshaw's. Dixon, you know, I'm looking for an accountant. You think you'd like working at my place? I'd pay you twice what you're earning here with Bragg. I'm afraid I can't be sure the one who shot at Brian wasn't Bradshaw. And about your kind offer, I... I thank you, but I'm perfectly happy with the money I get from Mr. Bragg. Mm. Seven, four, better now. You're holding up the game. I want to talk to you. You could have talked to me at your ranch. I couldn't talk in front of the men. What I have to speak about is private. It's important, I assure you. Where can we talk where nobody can disturb us? Well, if it's that important, you can come to my office. Dad! Dad! Oh, hurry, they've killed me. Father! What? Your father? He managed to draw his gun, but he didn't have time to fire. The same kind of shells. Yeah. Just what I expected. find anything. Yep. I found what I always find. Some shells. They took the Winchester. That's why they killed Daddy. <laughs> it was Bradshaw that murdered him. Then prove Bradshaw took that gun. You all listen to me. It makes no difference who took it. Because now, I deal with it. Till the people of this town elect a new sheriff again, I represent the law. And I want to say one thing. I'm warning you. I won't stand for any interference. Together, we may have a showdown. Simpson's murder is going to cause a lot of trouble. Where's Porter, Padilla, and Burns? I saw him in saloon playing poker. There you are, three aces plus one. <laughs> you can't win all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should be here, honey. 
Twenty dollars. I wish they me too. Hey! Shot through the window. Those were three of my best men, Jess. Someone's going to answer for this. Winchester, Jack Bradshaw's. Are you gonna arrest him or will the boys and I have to do it? This murder ain't original. He keeps playing the same old game. You call it a game? Do you to kill Porter, eh? He killed Corley too. Simpson and Elliot. If you're too scared to make an arrest, take off that star and get out of town. So you change your mind. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Did you say Porter? Yes, why? Wait a minute. Which one's Porter? That one. That's why he was sick. He's the one I got through the door. He knew who killed Corley. That's why he got shot. The other two were just a blind. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Uh, listen to me, Jess. Tonight, three honest citizens were murdered. Who murdered them? There's only one piece of evidence. This. Sure. <laughs> but whose is it? Huh? Yeah, that's that's right. Right. You see, everyone knows it. Then you all think it was him who went to Simpson's office. You bet it was him. Who else was worried about it as evidence? Clint caught him at it, so he shot him down. Yeah, that could be. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he came here, killed three men, and left his rifle behind to prove it was him. You must be crazy, if you really believe that. Look, I didn't want to be sheriff, but I am. And I'm not putting up with any of your nonsense. Wait a minute, Jess. You're right. But in that case, there must be somebody else. I had some grudge against Elliot Simpson and those men of mine. And I'm going to find out who that somebody is. What do you want with me? I don't know nothing. I was locked up in here all by myself. Nobody came in here. I don't know a thing. You mean to say you haven't seen or heard nothing? Huh? Only a voice? I ain't never heard before. Them two shots. Bang, bang. What time do you think it was? It was 10 o'clock. 10 on the button. Uh-huh. Well, Jess, are you satisfied now? I saw Bradshaw near here about 10. I'm sure I'm not the only person who saw him here. Bradshaw couldn't have been here at 10. 
He has an alibi. No witness. Who? Me. Boys, listen. This is going to mean trouble, you know. For all. Bradshaw armed. Roaming around loose. Let's get up a posse and take him. Joe, this is Brian. Come out. I'm trying to do you a favor. Fanny, tell Bradshaw to come out. Bragg's turning everyone against him. Kill her. Yes, 
was strangled. Who done it? Jack Bradshaw. 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 Jack Bradshaw. Jack Bradshaw. I what? told you, Brad it was right. Yes. Well, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Now we go. We got to go. Everybody get it. Ringgold, I'm looking for Bradshaw. Where is he? I got to speak to you, Brian. All you have to do is tell me where Bradshaw's hiding. I'll kill him. I don't care who killed the others. I'll make him pay for this one. You kill him to avenge the murder of Fanny Sand? That's right. It wasn't murder. You know that Bradshaw was in love with her. He's the last person to want to murder her. Then why did he? He'll explain to you. Let him tell you himself. You can always kill him later. Something he found out was so dreadful he lost his head and strangled Fanny. Then why is he hiding? Who says he's hiding? You can find him at the Mexicans. You've always done your best to save Bradshaw Ringgold, but now there's only one way you can save him. Shoot me before I find him. Hey, Bradshaw! Take it easy, Brian. I want to talk to you. I want to tell you what I found out from Fanny. There's still lots of time for fighting. Start saying your prayers, Bradshaw. Your time's just about up. I'll count to three. Wait a minute, Brian. Listen to me. What I have to say is important. One. It's all about these murders. But let me explain why. Three. The whole trouble with you is you never stop to think. Stop to think. To think. Thanks, Mr. Bryan, for avenging my father. You're mistaken. Your father hasn't been avenged, and neither have the others. The key. Yes. Yes. Good work, Jess. I'm real proud of you. No, it wasn't good work. I killed him before he told me what he found out from Fanny and why he killed her. And I thought I learned to think. But what's the matter? He was our man. Why can't you see? He was only stolen for time because he was frightened. I'll see to it that you get a reward. Forget it. What's the matter with you, Jess? Don't forget you work for me. Hey, Jess. Be reasonable, will you, Jess? Good morning, Mr. Bryan. Good morning. That there's a casket for poor Fanny Sand. It's the best one I got in stock. I've been saving it up for a long time for some really important client. Whoever would have thought I'd use it for her. How much do I have to pay for it? Huh? I want to pay for the casket and the expense of the funeral. Pay for what? For the casket. But, Mr. Bryan, 
I was just about to give you your change. What change? The change from that $500 you sent over to me this morning. I'm an honest man. Why, it was too much. A first-class funeral costs much less. How'd you get this money? In an envelope. With your message on it. Saying to keep the best casket in the place for her. From me? Your name was signed. Just Brian. Let me see it. I know what I did with it. This morning, I think I used it to light a cigar. However, I'm real certain it was your name on it. It wasn't mine. Keep the money. Ringo? What do you want with me? I have to ask you a question. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. But I hope you will. Go ahead. Did you ever give Fanny any jewelry? I have a wife, Brian, remember? I had to be sure. I didn't think Bradshaw could have bought them. I want to be very careful from now on in. I'm not sure that Bradshaw was Fanny's murderer. Five other murders were committed, and all the evidence was very carefully arranged to throw suspicion on it. I say Bradshaw deserved to die, only I wish I hadn't shot him. I wasn't thinking. Bradshaw wasn't really a murderer. He came to me at 11 o'clock and said it was all an accident. At 11? Yes. But her hands were still warm. At midnight. So if it isn't Bradshaw, who else might it be? What's this? Bradshaw himself told me that he murdered her. No, no. Maybe Fanny fainted and he probably thought he killed her. I should have realized he didn't do it, seeing she was strangled with a silk stocking. With what? Jack didn't tell me anything about a stocking. He said all he did was grab her by the throat. Of course. Bradshaw would never have used a silk stocking. And there was one more thing I didn't think of, and I should have. Just what do you mean? It should have been pretty clear the killer would have to be a rich man to give so much jewelry to Fanny. Sure you're not making another mistake, Brian? I'm certain. Something about this whole story that's like a snake biting his own tail. But why? Only one thing left to do to find out how it all come out. We'll have to start from the beginning. My, my, you really are worried about the kind of books I read. <laughs> you wouldn't have had the courage to use it. What do you want? To give this back. What might that be? I didn't give it to you. Not to me. It was for the coffin, for Fanny's funeral. I want to pay for it. Are you out of your mind, Jess? What have I got to do with Fanny's funeral? Why would I want to pay for it? Because you loved her, and you killed her out of jealousy. That's not true. Fanny's hand didn't mean anything to me, boy. No? No. Then why did you want me to come here? Why did you want me to kill Bradshaw? Because he's your rival. You paid the expenses. <laughs> but you preferred him. This whole thing's a fantasy. You know I never loved Fanny, not even for a moment, Jess. You hear me? Listen to me, Bragg. Fanny was holding a piece of kerchief in her hand. Could have been Bradshaw's. That's what I thought. Then. And afterwards, I realized Fanny's jewels were missing. Well, then uh, the killer was a thief. No, Brack. Not a thief. But the very man who paid for the jewels and thought it only right to have them back. In 
fact, the ring I gave her was not taken. And I have to admit, in your own way, you're honest. Open that safe. No. Just no. I won't. I give you my word of honor that I don't have Fanny's jewelry. Open it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me open it, Chess. I swear I don't have the jewels. Open it. desk in front of an empty safe. You hire a gunman, kill a man you don't hate. Out of jealousy for a girl you never loved. You know what you are? You're just a slave, that's all. <laughs> what happened? You were the boss of this town. It started three years ago. When the land rush that I told you about was at its peak. At the time, I was general accountant for the government. Make a long story short, I embezzled a large sum of money from the general fund. And he found out about it. Since then, I've been completely at his mercy. He used me the way he wanted to. Now he just keeps me here to act as a cover for him. Did you do anything? He's holding proof enough to have me put away for at least 20 years. So, he was Fanny's secret lover. And it was he who ordered you to send for me to murder Bradshaw? No. I wanted you. But not because I wanted Bradshaw murdered. I expected he'd attempt to kill you. He was terribly jealous of her. Of her past, too. Somehow he got to know that there used to be some romance between you and Fanny. I hoped you might just have to kill him, Jess. So I'd be released from this whole mess. You've forgotten one thing. What's that? His name. Tell me who he is. Oh. oh. Don't ask me to. I want you to tell me. Better still, take me to him. Right now. No. Please, no, Jess. That man's like the devil. He might do anything. Uh. If you don't take me to him, I'll kill you. Don't forget that Fanny died because, because of all this. All right, Jess. But be careful. This man's dangerous. I swear, I kept meaning to explain to you everything, only I didn't have the courage. Why did he kill everybody? I tell you, he's heartless. Killing means nothing to him, like with Elliot. He killed him because he suspected that he realized what was happening here. Then there was poor Simpson. Clint knew, so he killed him because he was afraid. And the other men he killed. They knew too much about everything. And Fanny, just why did he kill her? Did she know too much about it all? Did she know, for instance, that he took the Winchester? Yes, 
But there was more to it than that. He was jealous. Incredibly jealous of her. He, he was jealous uh, of anyone who ever looked at Fanny. And you'd known her a lot longer than he had. It meant that you had to be killed. Uh. Dixon. Mr. Bryan, drop that gun. You'd better listen. I've murdered eight people up to now. I can murder another one. They'd only hang me once, so drop that gun. Kick it over there. <laughs> Much better. Splendid. We must give you a big reward. Something unusual. I'm going to let you decide if you'd like to get it in the brain or body. Well, where do I aim? The forehead's fine. Aim straight for the forehead. Dead center, Dixon. I hope you can. <laughs> oh, I can. I'll do it. Thanks, friend. You have to pay, Jess Bryan, like everyone who gets in my way. But I don't mind granting your last wish.
Could sure use you as sheriff, Jess. Thanks. But there's nothing left to keep me here. I want to keep this as a souvenir. Couldn't you find something better than that here, son? You ought to start thinking about marriage. There's nothing I want to remember. Better that I go away from here. Time to go, Jess. Oh, Ringold, will you do me a favor? Say goodbye to Sheila. Should have done it myself. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. Where does this train wind up? Tucson. Well, then give me a ticket, please. That's two dollars. Same for me. A ticket for Tucson. Hey, Sheila. What are you doing here? I'm afraid you'll have to buy my ticket. Why have you done this? Because I want you to marry me, Jess. I couldn't do that. I'd make a poor husband. You're the only man who's right for me. What could I tell you to make you understand that I wouldn't be right for you? Just one thing, Jess. Tell me you love someone else. Tell me. And I'll leave you alone then. I'll jump off the train. Well? That'd be a shame. Waste of two dollars. I already told two tickets. Two tickets to Tucson. 